नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू माय किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग मोहन थाल मोहन थाल कैन बी डिस्क्राइब एज ए ग्रैम फ्लावर फज विद टच ऑफ कार्डम एंड टॉप्ड विद आमन स्लाइसेस मोहन थाल कैन बी सर्व एज ए डिजर्ट और एज ए स्नैक विद कप ऑफ टी This fuzz looking candy is irresistible. This recipe will make 24 pieces. And for this recipe, we need 2 cups of gram flour besan, 6 tablespoon of melted ghee or clarified butter, 2 tablespoon of warm milk, about 2 tablespoon of sliced almonds. 1 teaspoon of ground cardamom powder half a cup of heavy milk 1 cup of milk powder 1 and quarter cup of sugar and half a cup of water first i am going to add the ghee with besan or gram flour and mix it well rub it with between your palms to give a texture of bread crumb okay we will let it sit for about 15 minutes the okay, heat is on so first we are going to cook the heavy cream and milk powder mix it and need to be cooked till it becomes like a soft dough and this has been about 3 minutes we will need to cook it for about 2 more minutes as you see it has already coming together make sure you keep mixing it from all sides okay, this looks uh, ready it has taken me about 6 uh, minutes as you see it's all together and uh, like a soft dough now we have to keep this aside so it's cold uh, before we mix this uh, with the uh, besan or gram flour so gram flour mixture has been sitting for about 15 minutes now we are going to add uh, milk and rub again together mix it well and again rub it between your palms and before we mix the milk in it it will we will have to let it sit for about 10 minutes the okay, mixture of milk has cool off or you can call this khoya now we are going to mix the besan mixture in this and mix it well and roast it on medium heat till the mixture becomes uh, light brown and besan will start uh, smelling but we do need to keep mixing it all the time this has been about 2 minutes and it will take about 12 more minutes we just have to keep it stir frying it or roast it okay this has been uh, about 12 minutes and as you see it has started browning so another minute this will be ready uh, 
don't use the high heat to brown uh, it should be done on the medium heat and as you see the texture is like a bread crumb so another minute this will be ready okay. mixture looks uh, ready it's smelling really great I like the smell of uh, roasted uh, basin now we have to keep this aside and let it uh, get cool before we mix the syrup and while it's getting cold we will make the sugar syrup so we are going to make the syrup on medium heat let this uh, syrup uh, cook uh, till it becomes uh, two threads or if you are using the candy thermometer uh, it comes to the soft uh, ball it's about 230 degrees and uh, for me using the thermometer it's much easier and uh, I have less chances making the mistakes this should take about uh, after it boils it should take about five minutes okay uh, syrup is ready it's about 230 degrees now we are going to close the heat and mix this uh, with the uh, Basin mixture which is already it has cooled off. The okay, heat is off and I'm going to add the sugar syrup and mix it well. Okay, this looks good. I already have greased the plate. I'm going to pour this. And as it cool off, it will dry. I try to spread it in about a square shape. It makes it easier to cut. While it is still hot, I am going to spread the almonds. So it will stick to it and press it in and let it dry. Okay, Mohan Thal looks uh, great and it smells uh, very good. After it cools off to room temperature, you can cut them in the size you would like. Mohan Thal you can keep for 2-3 to three weeks uh, in a container. I like anything made with the uh, besan. So this is one of my favorite sweet dish. Uh, Mohan Thal I can have any time of the day. Thank you and I will see you again with a new recipe.